Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everything is okay in your life. In this video, I will share with you the updated combo video of the Dracania Awakening class. If you listen to explanations, you will understand the logic and tricks of the combos better. Now that you are the audience listening to the explanations, we can start. Let's go. First of all, I would say that the Dracania Awakening class is currently very, very bad in terms of PvE. For some reasons, I don't know why, Perlobis is just refusing not buff this class. They're buffing other classes, but Dracania is in very bad situation about PvE. Yes, I know class is very strong in pvp but very bad about pve i would love to see that they nerf pvp just a little bit and huge pv buff if it is necessary even in my gear score because i have hard cap gear score i cannot heal my gear i feel like i'm playing like 680 gear score with 760 gear score i have been postponing the current combo video for the past months waiting for Drakania if she gets any pv buffs and i decided to create a new video because i was using this new infinite combo if there will be pve change and update and if it is big enough to affect the combos that I created for right now, I will make a new video again. Rukani Awakening is the most complex class in the game. That's why I suggest you take a look at this special and unique video where I explain the cancels and flaws of the class before moving on to the video. Because there are more than 80 cancels in the class and when you master all of them, you can start to understand how beautiful is this class. Rukani Awakening is not a class to be played casually. The link is in the top right or in the pinned comment section. In my PvE guides, in all of them, I take care to provide combos for three different situations. The first one is mid game, the second one is Kaifun, and the last one is an infinite combo. I called crowded spots for the mid game spots because the spots are generally crowded in terms of mobs and you need to pull them or aggro them to kill them fast. In these spots, the cooldown problem starts to occur especially as your AP increases. So for example, when you're grinding at Sakurai Underwater Ruins with 257 AP, maybe the infinite combo may help you, but when it comes to reach over 285 or maybe more and more, you can kill mobs very very fast and it becomes a bottleneck due to the cooldown of the skills. In order to solve this problem, I create two different combo patterns that are independent of each other. In the first combo you see on the screen, I aggro the mobs with the aerial burst skill and also applying DP debuff, and then I kill the mobs with the thundering roar, huge PB burst and the flow. If they don't die, I will take the remaining HP with the following Dragon Blood skills. In the second combo, I'm creating an aggro with the shift use skills and at the same time I'm getting tier 3 add-ons from that skill. And then I'm killing mobs with the huge burst potential of the Hexablood skills. You know, Hexablood skills generally have a crit rate issue and this shift use skill also allow me to get more crit rates thanks to its tier 3 add-ons. So another combo type is exclusive for Gaifen. Gaifen is a chill grind spot that has been popular since the day it was added to the game. No matter what class you kill the Gaifen mobs, the first thing you need to do is to reduce DP as much as you can. So I'm using shift Q skill again to get tier 3 add-on. I'm getting 10% speed and minus 20 DP from that and the first step for the add-on minus DP is completed. Then directly when I land I'm using SLMB skill to reduce the DP of the mob and I reach in total minus 40 DP. You know when they lost their DP buffs they will turn directly to you. At that point I'm just dashing back and burst them with dragon blood skills. You will see the examples in the next part. In the infinite combo part, I prepared 8 second cycle combo. We have 2 3 3 add ons in Dragon Blood skills, and thanks to these skills, we can keep 30% crit rate and 10% attack speed continuously. Dragon skills' PV damage is incredibly low. I'm using them like a filler damage mostly. I'm trying to deal high damage with Hexablood skills as much as I can. Their damage also is not that much high according to the game's current situation, but I'm trying to keep that high burst potential damage with the high crit rate. Of of tier 3 add-ons and also 10 percent attack speed allows me to finish my combo in 8 seconds so in general in terms of structure three combos are like this you can find combos and tests later in the video for now you are currently seeing add-ons on the screen in pve crystals and the lightstone sets vary according to the spots and gear score so please do not ask me about your gears and your crystals so because of that i will not be able to show you any sets or crystals I will try to upload updated new videos of the spot soon. You can learn about the crystals and the lightstone sets from those videos. So, you can find this and many other video contents on my channel. If you like the video contents I have prepared for you, I will ask you to support me and it is very very easy. Post the video right now, subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it on your Discord. This is a free process for you but it means a lot to me. I hope you guys like my contents. Do not forget, video is just a game, have a nice game. Thank <laughs> you.